So what do all these characters on the side of my helmet mean? Well, they're different on both sides. I thought I would first of all show you how I got them on there. So I'm going to go do that now. I'm going to put a few more. And I'd explain to you, you know, what they are. Because I get that question occasionally. People say, you know, what, uh, what does the writing on your helmet mean? So for those of you curious as to how I get these on my helmet, they're just vinyl stickers. And you can find just about any shop in China. Well, it says Guanggao, like that place over there. I should be able to get them made in there. But let's see if I can find another one. There we go. See? Up there it says Guanggao, which means advert in Chinese. And uh, if you go to one of these, in fact, there are two of them next to each other, I can probably ask. They can make stickers for you. So let me ask this guy. Anyhow, you can make this What time do you to do Oh, now it's time to do Oh, it's time to So the first shop, the guy says he can't do them right now. I'd have to wait till tomorrow. Let's find out about this shop over here, next door. Anyhow, Laban, you can make this stickers for me? Yes, Laban. Uh. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically get them cut out. It's a vinyl cutter. He's got in there like a vinyl plotter. And then I will stick them on myself. So let me actually explain to you now, while we wait, what these stickers mean. That's why you clicked on the video, right? So let's get down to it. Basically, these are the provinces and the countries that I've ridden through um, on my motorcycle. Mostly in China, if we look at this side, uh, at the top it says Yunnan province, then Guangxi province, followed by Jiangxi province, Hunan province, Fujian province, Guizhou province, and Guangdong province, where I live. And the big red sticker is um, Shenzhen city. That's where I've spent most of my time in China. On the other side, I have Taiwan, now it's up to you whether you want to say that's a province or its own country. I don't get into politics, although a lot of people seem to think my helmet is a political statement since it's on this side. Anyway, I've got Taiwan, I've got Nanfei, which is South Africa. I have Tai Guo, which is Thailand, and Ying Guo, which is England, right? And then down here is um, Taipei Shi. And the reason I've got that, that's Taipei City. The reason I've got that is that is the first time I'd gone on a sort of um, like a motorcycle trip outside of where I live, more or less. And I got that sticker in Taipei, and that's what gave me the whole idea of making stickers, because I just bought this Taipei sticker. In fact, a, a shop owner gave it to me because I was buying some accessories, and I thought, hey, that looks kind of cool. And I got to this idea of sticking stickers of all the places that I've ridden in on my helmet. So the two big red ones are the, the two major cities that I uh, have kind of ridden around and stayed in a lot. And then the rest are just provinces and countries. And of course I got the big uh, Serpent ZA on the back there, just in case people didn't know who I was. So, as you know, I'm busy adding a bunch of new stickers, and that means I've ridden through a bunch of new provinces that I've never ridden through before. So, well, instead of talking about them, Maybe this will explain it a little more clearly to you. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh my god! I know, is that just disgusting? It's like a sphincter. Ready to go? Let's go. You may want to in China to use a motorcycle to visit our whole Chinese landscape. Buryat. 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 This is Buryat in his awesome hat. It's kind of weird. I've never really had my, my ass massaged by a man before. <laughs> oh man, my bike almost went over the mountain, dude. <gasps> Literally right there, right in front of us, is North Korea. Let's run away down. You know, this is just built so tough they couldn't destroy it. This will absolutely be the freshest goat I've ever had. 
Last year they lost 20 of their reindeer to the bears. The diversity in the landscape has been staggering. <laughs> oh my god, are we sleeping in a ship? Either of us use the bathroom, the other person can watch. Ha! <laughs> oh, Welcome back. See, I managed to sneak the trailer for my new TV documentary into this video. Pretty clever, eh? Maybe not so clever, but I hope you guys are looking forward to seeing it as much as I am. Because believe it or not, I'm as in the dark as you guys are. I was there, you know, it took 40 days to film. It was quite the epic adventure. It's something I'll never forget in my entire life and so much happened. But, you know, I still don't know what the end result's going to look like, so I can't bloody wait. It's almost done. You know, we added the finishing touches. Uh, Seymour and I had to go and do a voice recording to send voiceovers for them to finish up the intros and stuff. And I am so excited to see it. We're planning to have some kind of a premiere in mid-November in Hong Kong and Shenzhen. Just keep an eye on my channel and I'll keep you up to date on that. Uh, so yeah, I can't bloody wait to see it. Anyway, so that's the be all and the end all as far as my helmet's concerned. Uh, I may as well just quickly answer another question because for some reason, you know, anyone who watches ADV China, which is my other channel, if you don't know about it, you know, it's different to my channel. You know, I walk around in a suit and I talk about sort of China, things happening in China, but well, that's a nice spit. Got an evil uncle giving, giving us a spit over there. Yeah, that was a very loud spit, thank you. Anyway, um, see this guy here? There we go, evil uncle, he's a spitter. Yeah, he's the, he's the, he's the role model, spitting boy. Anyway, <laughs> if you go to ADV China, uh, Seamilk and I ride around on our motorcycles and sometimes we just walk around so we have an on the bikes, off the bikes kind of thing where we discuss a little bit more in depth some of the things that happen in China. And in fact, I really would like to point you to a video we did um, about two weeks ago, which is all about the honeymoon period that people go through when they come to a new country, specifically China, but of course any country. Um, wait for this card to go past. Thank you very much. Anyway, I think it's a fantastic video, one of our best, so please go and take a look. And um, yeah, I was gonna say, we use these intercoms to talk to each other and we have GoPros, so we film and we talk to each other and that's how we communicate. People always ask. Anyway, it's a Sene SMH-10R. It's kind of an older intercom now, but absolutely awesome piece of kit. Not sponsored by the way, I just like it. That's why, you know, I'm more than happy to sort of uh, tell you what it is. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope it explains it now. So you guys don't need to keep asking that question. Love you all. Can't wait to see you all in the next video. And as always, you know the drill. Stay awesome.